We've got breaking news out of Major League Baseball. Dodgers star Shohei Otani will play in Game 3 of the World Series tonight against the Yankees. That's the latest from our Jim Bowden. Otani, of course, suffered a partially dislocated left shoulder while sliding into second base during Saturday's Game 2 win over New York. They currently have a 2-0 series lead and a big boost with Otani leading off batting for the Dodgers. Let's bring back our Jim Bowden. Jim, I just talked to you a few minutes ago, and here we are with the update with Shohei Otani playing in tonight's game against the Yankees. How did you find out, and what should we expect out of him tonight leading off? Yeah, I just talked to Dave Roberts, the manager of the Dodgers, who did confirm Shohei Otani is leading off, and I don't think any of us are surprised, right? Because he's Wolverine, he's Deadpool, he's AI, right? Artificial intelligence. You can't be human to do the things he did this year, winning, going to win the MVP with 54 homers and 59 steals. I mean, it's unbelievable to think that the shoulder popped out, they popped it back in, and 48 hours he's going to be back on the field. But honestly, none of us are surprised. Uh, the Dodgers have made a couple other changes in the lineup. They've gone back to putting Gavin Lux at second. Tommy Edmond moves from center field back to shortstop uh, for them, and that puts K.K. Hernandez from second base back to center field. So the usual lineup that Dave Roberts has been running out there uh, most of this postseason against right-handed pitching, uh, back intact with the lineup, and most importantly, the three future Hall of Famers, Otani, Betts, and Freeman, will be at the top of this lineup. Uh, going back to Shohei, Jim, I know you said that you know we all basically expected him to play today, but to get the relief that certainty that he will be in the lineup when you look at the rest of the rotation there how much of a confidence boost is it when you have Shohei batting even if he is banged up yeah you know it's a great question um is it going to be 100 percent probably not right I don't think it can pop out and all of a sudden he's completely back but Shohei Otani at 75 or 80 percent is better than anybody else and keep in mind it's the back shoulder he's a left-hand hitter so it's the back shoulder when he's hitting um and so that would affect the power uh, maybe more than anything else. And I think when you look at this ballpark, you know, it's 308 feet down the right field. So for Shohei Otani, you know, he really doesn't e even need that extra power. Maybe instead of hitting a home run tonight 450 feet like we're used to, it'll be 330 or 340 instead. But I, I expect that they wouldn't put him in the lineup if they didn't feel that he was going to be like the MVP player he is. Just to take that a step further, because obviously he'll be dealing with some pain, but like you said, 70 or 80 percent is better than not having him at all at what point does the uh, the coaching staff the managers what are they watching for to make sure that they're not putting him in harm's way for the future of the series if that makes sense yeah I think, first of all, Haley, he won't be in pain because they'll shoot him with painkillers into the shoulder. So he won't feel the pain, which is good. And obviously, they've already been monitoring him in his workout yesterday and, and earlier today. So they feel very comfortable. Uh, they wouldn't put him in there if they felt that he was going to hurt it more. And, and again, this is an injury that Fernando Tatis Jr. of the Padres had. Uh, and his popped out four different times. Uh, they kept putting it back. Eventually, he did have surgery. Um, but I think in this particular particular case you know worst case scenario could it pop out again yeah it could put it back in place and go but again they wouldn't put in the lineup if they didn't think that he was going to be able to perform at least close to what his normal level is well it is certainly exciting i know dodgers fans are very relieved as well as the coaching staff too to know that they their star hitter is in the lineup our jim bowden joining us live from yankee stadium where shohei otani is expected to play in tonight's Game 3 World Series game, Dodgers and Yankees. Of course, the Dodgers already lead the series 2-0, looking to go up 3-0 over the Yankees. Aaron Judge has struggled at the plate. Will he wake up tonight? Uh, certainly a lot to watch for. Game 3, 808 Eastern, out in New York. We bring in our injury analyst, Marty Jaramillo, now to continue our conversation surrounding Sohei Otani. And Marty, obviously very good news there. Uh, no immediate impact there from Shohei Otani. He is still in the mix and he is going to play tonight. But there's still a partially dislocated shoulder there that he is dealing with. What are the implications going to be of that injury as he gets the Game 3 start tonight? Well, Haley, let's keep talking about this great news Shohei Otani dodged a bullet, okay? When I reported back on this on Sunday, okay, there was only two scenarios. Best case, worst case, and being in the lineup as a leadoff hitter against the Yankees, it's only best case scenario. He sustained a left shoulder subluxation, which means the ball of the socket slightly came out and then went back in. And thankfully, MRI was negative enough and the examination was negative enough. 
What does that mean? Well, there still could be some lingering injuries that could be dealt with in the off season. Now, what are we looking for here? Two major concerns is how comfortable he is at the bat. Yes, it's his back arm. When you load that back arm, okay, you have to feel like it is strong and it is stable because it can shift on you and you lose all power. And the second thing, will this injury affect his aggressiveness on the base pads? Will he not slide head first? Will he be tentative? All that could, of course, affect his productivity. But I do not expect any long-term effects with him uh, is because this could be simply an isolated injury. There is some history here. Cody Bettinger uh, in 2020, in Game 7, when he hit that home run in Game 7, sending him to the World Series. Guess what? In the celebration, he dislocated his shoulder. They popped it back in, and he hit a home run in Game 1 of that World Series. So you're saying there's a chance for Shohei and the Dodgers <laughs> tonight. Our Marty Jaramillo is going to join us again in just a few minutes to talk NFL injuries, but uh, good news there for Shohei Otani as he gets set for Game 3 happening tonight in New York. First pitch set to get underway at 8.08 Eastern. Uh, game four coming your way Tuesday, also at 8.08 Eastern. If uh, the Yankees are able to win a game in this series, it will shift back to L.A. Walker Bueller versus Clark Schmidt on the mound for game three of the World Series.